Hi guys, so uh, let's talk about the four best team. I wanted to talk about the four best team going into the playoff uh, and all their, their their starting pitchers. So let's get into number the like fourth place here. It's the the Rays, uh, ninety seven and sixty three. Uh, at home they're fifty three and twenty eight. Away they're forty four and thirty five. I put the September because it's it's actually really important. In September they're fifteen and eleven. So. A good September, but not one of the best. So, hey, so starting pitcher for the Rays, Zach Wilson, uh, Zach Wilson, Zach Elf, Elflin, with sixteen and eight record, three point five zero ERA and one hundred and eighty six strikeouts. Then you got Tyler Glasnow, ten and seven record, uh, a three point five three ERA and one hundred sixty two strikeout. Shane McClanahan. Uh, was one of the best pitcher they have, and he's injured. But he has a record of 11-2, and two, uh, 3.29 ERA, and 121 strikeout. If he didn't get injured, they'd probably be higher on this list. They probably won the division. Uh, but he got injured. So uh, Taj Bradley after that, 5-8 and eight record, a 5.56 ERA, 129 strikeout. Zach Littrell did a few games here in certain pitch up. 3-6 and six record with a 3.93 ERA and 72 strikeouts. And Aaron Cavale, 2-3 and three record with a 5.36 ERA and 58 strikeouts. So they, they, they got a few pitchers to, um, to um, replace McClanahan. It's really hard to replace him. But uh, let's say of how the Rays, they have at least two good pitchers to go in the playoffs. So that's not really great. We'll see if Shane can come back and then maybe even it up. But we'll see how far the Rays go in the playoff. Then you got the Dodgers, 99-61. and 61. They're probably going to get to 100 before the season's over. There's only two games left, but I think they can get there. 53 wins and 28 loss. On the road, 46-33. and 33. September, 16-11. and 11. It's the, best, the second best here. Uh, starting pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. 13 and 4 record, 2.42 ERA with 132 strikeouts. Bobby Miller, 11 and 4 record, 3.89 ERA with 115 strikeout. Julio Arias, 11 and 8 record, 4.60 ERA, 117 strikeouts. So you get three pitchers over 10 wins. That is really good. Uh, Tony Goslin, uh, he's injured though, 8 and 5 record, 4.98 ERA with 82 strikeouts. Michael Grove, 2-3 and three record, 6.28 ERA and 72 strikeout. And Noah Syndergaard having a horrible season, 1-4 and four record with a 7-16 ERA with 38 strikeouts. So they have at least three guys that could probably um, win a few games here. That is really good. Then you get the Rays, 100 win and 60 uh, loss. Really great season for them. At home, they're 48 and 31. On the road, they're 52 and 29. So they're better on the road than at home. Um, in September, they have the best September record on this. They're 17 and 10. Uh, starting pitcher, Cal Gibson, 15 and 9, with a 4.86 ERA with 153 strikeout. Then got Dean Kramer, 13 and 5 record, with a 4.12 ERA with 157 strikeout. Then you got Cal Bradish. Uh, 12 and 7 with a 2.86 ERA with 163 strikeouts. So you have three guys that are going to win a few games here. Grayson Rodriguez, 7 and 4 record with 4.35 ERA with 129 strikeouts. Tyler Wells, 7 and, 6, 7 and 6 record with a 3.67 ERA with 114 strikeouts. And then Cole Irving. Uh, one and four record, four point five four ERA with sixty seven strikeout. He might not. He's not probably not gonna start, but he he might help out here to uh, get a few uh, innings there. Then you got the Braves, one hundred and three and fifty seven, the best record in baseball. Fifty one wins and twenty eight loss, and at home on the road, fifty two wins and twenty nine loss. They're better on on the road, but really good at home also. In September, though, the one of the worst one here, fifteen and twelve, um, really awkward uh, ye, um, September for them. But they played very well in the in the summer. We'll see how it goes. Spencer Strider, nineteen and five record, 
3.81 ERA with 274 strikeout. He's having a great year, a Cy Young kind of year. Bryce Elder right after that, 2-4 and four record, uh, 3.81 ERA with 128 strikeouts. Max Fried, he's injured, but he's an 8-1 and one record with a 2.55 ERA with 80 strikeouts. Then you got Charlie Martin, 14-12, and 12, 3.64 ERA with 183 strikeouts. And then Jared Scharster with 4-3 and three with a 5.64 ERA with 30 strikeouts. So they could put... If Max Fry comes back, but they could put Spencer Strider, Bryce Elder, and they put Charlie Martin. Really great pitching for the Braves, and they really have good offense also. So we'll see how it goes, but the Braves look... If I had a team that I thought would go far in the playoff, the Braves probably go the farthest, I think. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe. The season is almost over. There's two games left, and I'll see you soon with more videos. See you guys.